Hi, Dr. Pat here. We're looking at input-output models. And so the key thing for me to remember these things are nothing for free. So whenever we produce something, we are uh, always using some kind of resources to produce that item. Uh, whether it's fertilizer, whether it's water, whether it's metals in production, uh, plastics that use oil, those kind of things, the energy, um, the electricity, those kind of stuff, all that, whenever we produce something, we're always using something to produce that. So nothing we ever get for free. Now to get this idea across, I'm just going to go to a very basic uh, model or basic situation. Going to have some fun with little Harry Potter here. And so um, what we have as a situation is is that I'm only going to look at one factor of this economy. And so I'm only going to look at the spells. I know there's a ton of other things that, that happens in this economy. Uh, there's food products that are produced. There's energy that's produced, all kinds of other stuff. Uh, going to kind of ignore those kind of things and just look at spells. And so the key thing here that we're looking at um, in, in in the production, uh, the production efficiency. That's how how well uh, you know how good uh, we can produce things. Um, we're going to use uh, 1,200 spells to produce 16,000 spells. Okay, so so that's basically in the production of these 16,000 spells, we're going to actually use up uh, 1,200 of them. So kind of thinking that as the energy to that's needed in order to produce this 16,000 spells. And the question or the other thing that we have is we have a production level. So I've got a production level of 46,000 spells. So producing 46,000 and then we've got a couple of questions that come out of this in this relationship between how much we use up to produce a certain amount. So the first question we would have would be how many spells are used up in the production process? Okay, so we have a rate of 1,200 spells per 16,000 spells. And so the question comes is, how do we use the 46,000 in order to figure out how much is used up in this production process? And then the second part of this question is, is how many spells are left over to meet the demand of the population? Because that's really the key. The, popula the population is asking. They're wanting these kind of products. And so that's the other part of the th proce uh, process that we want to look at is we, we have a number of spells that are used up in the process. What's left over for the population to use? Okay, so let's take a look at this. So for that first question of how many spells are used up in this production process, I'm going to be looking at the efficiency rate. We have 1,200 spells are used up in the production of 1,600. So that's basically uh, a rate of 0 0.075. So 0 0.075 of a spell is used up to produce one spell. So that's the kind of the rate that we're having there. So that's the kind of our efficiency rate. How much we use to make one spell. That's what the decimal version of it is. We have a nice fraction here, 1,200 spells per 16,000. Or we can use the decimal, and the decimal says 0 0.075 per one spell produced. Okay, so that's kind of the difference between the fraction and the decimal. Okay, so now how do we use this in our calculation? Well, here's what we've got. I've got an efficiency rate, I have a production level, and then we multiply those two things. So multiply the efficiency rate times the production level and you get the amount used up in production. The efficiency rate, remember, is 1,200 spells used up in the production of 16,000. So the efficiency rate that we're looking at, they're looking at how much is used up in the process. How much does it take to produce? And so that's the kind of the perspective that we have here. It's all about what's being used up to produce. And so when we do this multiplication, the number that we end up is how much is used up in the production. Okay, so that's how we answered the first question. The efficiency rate times the production level equals the amount used up. Kind of like uh, another way to look at this relationship is, is your car. So you've got your gas mileage, you know, how, how many gallons per, uh, you know, how many miles per gallon kind of thing that your, your car, that's a kind of the efficiency rate of your car. Times the number of miles that you drive will actually produce tell you how much gas has been used up in the driving of your car. So that's the kind of uh, another way to look at this relationship here. So the efficiency rate is really about how much we're using up in the process times the production level equals the amount used up in production.
And then for our second question, how many spells are left over to meet the demand, we just take this subtraction here. So we've got a production level of 46,000 minus the 3450 that we use up in production. And then what's left over, this 42550, that represents how much the population, how much is left over for the population. And so that's what another relationship we have. Production level minus the amount used up in production is equal to the amount left over to meet the demand. Okay, so that's what we're looking at. So that's uh, answering those first two questions, looking at a uh, nice introduction. What I want to do is just take a moment to kind of extend this. Look at this relationship and try and figure out, can we come up with a mathematical uh, formula for this? So let's take a look at this. So this is the calculation we just did. Production level minus how much was used up in production equals what's left over for demand. And so what I want to do is kind of play with this 3450. Remember where we got this 3450? It was the efficiency rate times the production level. So I'm just focusing on that. And I know I'm going backwards, so please bear with me. But I'm just kind of rebuilding this relationship from the very basics uh, starting point. Instead of using the 3450, I'm going to uh, use this relationship here, the efficiency rate times production level because I've got a production level over here on the left hand side. Now I've got two of those things and so we can work that further. So what I'm doing is kind of uh, uh, bringing this, tearing this 3450 apart, kind of bringing it back. Where did it come from? Okay, so now with this relationship, one of the things that we can do is we got this 46,000. We can factor it out. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to factor out that 46,000. Remember, when you factor out a, a number that's all by itself, the what's left over is a 1. So 1 times 46,000, that's that kind of relationship there. Okay, so whenever we factor out a number, don't forget about that 1. And so then when we factor out the 46,000 here out of this uh, term, then what we have left over is just the efficiency rate. Okay, so now we have a nice little uh, relationship here. 1 minus the efficiency rate, and then times the production level will basically give us what we have to meet the demand. Okay, and so then we can make that into a nice little formula here. The efficiency rate is we're going to call that A, the A matrix. Uh, later on when we do matrices we'll call it the A matrix. So right now we'll just call it the letter A. And then our production level is going to be X. And then this uh, 42550 number, remember that's the amount to the demand. And so we'll go with a D that for that for demand. And so what you have right here is a nice relationship between the efficiency rate, the information we know about the, uh, the production, how efficient the economy is, times the production level that we're looking at, and then that equals demand. So we have a nice relationship between three components, three pieces of, of, of our uh, economy how well we produce, the production level that we're producing, and then our demand. How much do we have to meet our demand? And then remember that one out there in the front there, this one here, that was because of the factoring. Because we were doing production level minus the amount used up in production equals our demand. And so that's coming from just the algebra. We have a one minus this uh, efficiency rate. Okay, so that's basically the start of our nice formula. We're going to be using that formula to answer a different question, and that's the question of later on of what will our production level be, what do we need for a production level in order to meet the demand? Because basically, um, this relationship that we just calculated, and I knew the production level, um, economists are really looking for, they know the demand, because they can survey people. And then basically the idea is to work backwards using these relationships to figure out what the production level, what should the economy be producing in order to meet that demand. Okay, hope this uh, introduction to uh, this input-output relationship made sense. We're going to go into the next video and start looking at the interaction effect that we would have for our factors. Rather than just one factor of spells, let's look at something like yams and pigs and stuff like that. So some things that have interaction effect. Thanks and have a good day.